City Burials came out in 2020. So when and how were these new 11 songs worked on? Um, I mean, Jonas, uh, who wrote both City Burials and uh, basically the entirety of Skyward of Stars, he started writing the new album pretty much immediately after finishing City Burials. Uh, that's usually how he works. He um, he writes until an album is pretty much done and finished and mixed and mastered, and then he just continues. So I think Skyward of Stars was written in, the, in a year, perhaps, after City Burials was released. How do you work on the songs then, when uh, as a as a band? We don't really work on them as a band. Uh, we tend to write individually, or Jonathan Anders does. And uh, when they're ready with the material, they just present it to the rest of us for input and ideas. And when we're through with that entire process, that's when we consider the songs to be finished. But they, they tend to write by themselves. How were the recordings for this album? I know uh, COVID changed things for many bands. Yeah, it uh, really did. Uh, rec recordings were pretty efficient, actually. Me and Jonas went to Denmark to record drums. And uh, as soon as we came back, we started doing guitars and bass. And Jonas did vocals by himself. I think we were done in like two weeks or three weeks. Uh, but in the only we did everything by ourselves in Stockholm except for the drums in Denmark. So pretty easy and pretty efficient. We I don't think we were hindered by the COVID situation this time. We are living now in 2023. Is COVID more or less in the past now or does it still affect bands much? I think it affects bands in terms of traveling. Um I think most of the like COVID bans or vaccine mandates are pretty much in the past. Um, but of course, we still get sick. Uh, I got COVID last summer. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's still an issue, but not as big of an issue as it was like a year ago or something. Of course, you have a quite tour starting soon. For you personally, what are like the best parts and worst parts of touring? The best parts of touring is obviously uh, the shows, meeting people, uh, seeing the crowds, um, and yeah, seeing them, especially with the new album, uh, seeing how the crowd experiences the new material from the from the get-go. I mean, our first show in Tampa is the day the album is being released. So that'll be extra exciting, playing new songs, which maybe the audience haven't had the time to digest in that matter. Uh, shows are actually absolutely the high point of uh, touring. The low point, traveling and waiting, waiting around and just spending time doing nothing. Um, it's a pretty big chunk of time uh, doing nothing, actually. Yeah, let's go to the album then, or actually let's stay a bit in the in the touring and live. So uh, from your point of view, uh, what kind of live songs are the songs on the new album? I think the entire album is more live-friendly than, say, City Burials was. It's less progressive it's less technical in a in a way uh, it's more just rock and roll guitars metal songs uh, big courses i think the entire album is suited for playing live and we're doing on this tour we're doing a pretty hefty bunch of songs from the album um, more from this album than we've done on previous album tours um, so that'll be really exciting to see how how the crowd gets the songs. But yeah, I think this is more of a more of a live album than 
Cat has previously had. Yeah, is there anything that makes uh, this album special for you? I mean, every new album is special. Uh, it's it's a process we we go through, uh, building on the experiences from the last album, and obviously, this being the first album released after the pandemic and uh, planning all of the touring and shows for this album is like getting back in the game in a way so it's it feels very special for us obviously could we talk a bit about the single song birds uh what is kind of the story behind this song i mean obviously the concept of birds has been uh, something that we've had in the band since the first album we've all always referred to birds in one way or another and what it symbolizes is could differ from album to album actually and uh, i think without giving people uh, all of the information and writing them out the nose um actually writing a song named birds is pretty much the pinnacle of uh, how we've used the symbolism before um so it has a couple of references to our lives and the band and uh, the band's past um, so in in terms of symbolism it might be the most Catatonia song that we have ever done talking about the past uh you joined the band in 2015 if i'm correct what are the first things that come to mind when you think about that time i mean i i was a fan of the band since the first album i bought the album in early 94 um so getting to know the guys and getting to be able to play with them was obviously a very fun experience from that point of view. And then me and Jonas have, have been in touch for a while. So it kind of, it wasn't as intimidating as you could expect. Uh, it was still just a bunch of friends getting together, playing, playing music. But obviously it was exciting and uh, without feeling any pressure from it yeah i still knew what was expected of me so yeah it was exciting stepping up to uh, fill the previous drummer's shoes um but yeah it's been an, it's been a good ride and it's been as i expected it to be from when I started it. Yeah, from your point of view, how have things evolved since that in the eight years? Or how has the band's music evolved in that time? I mean, Catatonia's music has always been evolving from album to album, uh, crossing genres and like music styles. Um, so obviously, every album I've been a part of has been a continuation of everything the band has done up until the last album. So City Burials was a reaction on the fall of hearts and how organic that was. And City Burials was more focused on the electronics and more progressive in a way. And Skyward of Stars is a response to that with more, it's more song ori oriented and with heavier guitars and it's more metal in a way. So it's a constant evolution of just reacting to what we already did and it's a natural progression so we don't really think about it that much while we're in the midst of it i think we just feel that we're going with the flow and take it as it comes Show me the 